Hi, uh, welcome to What the Fuck Sutter, uh, number uh, 21? Yes. 21, there we go. Um, just an uh, update. Um, I think the Carson Daly thing will be on Thursday, uh, this Thursday. I have no idea what date that is, um, but it's, uh, um, it's uh, if today is Friday, that would mean... It's what? It's 29th. It's the 29th. My, <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, my assistant that knows everything about my life said it's the 29th. Um, and uh, that's on at like 1.30 in the morning, I think, 1 o'clock in the morning. It's on after um, Fallon, I believe. Um, uh, and I did that interview, which, uh, which was a blast. Uh, Carson's just a huge uh, fan of the show, so it was, you know, it was like talking to a fanboy, which was very easy, and, uh, and I thank him for uh, making that so easy. Um, and uh, uh, here's our question for this week. Um, uh, hi, Kurt. My name is Melanie, and I'm from Germany. I'm a huge fan of SOA and would like to know if, you, if the show will ever be on German television. Do you have any influence on where internationally the show will be on TV, or is this someone else's decision? I'd love to see the Suns on German television, even though I fear a lot of things will get lost in translation and the show might not do as well as apparently was the case with The Shield. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, keep up the good work, Melanie. Uh, apparently Melanie is watching it through some other means. Um, but uh, I, uh, I really don't have any influence <laughs> whatsoever. You know, um, the, uh, f the rights, the foreign rights are all part of the licensing deal that goes in. Um, way before anyone knows what the show will be or if it'll be successful. And, uh, and as, it does as it does become more successful, it does become more palatable and, and it gets picked up. Um, and uh, um, so I, I, uh, I, I don't have any influence. Um, uh, I do know that, uh, you know, I, I know that the show is doing very well internationally. Um, I know it's doing obviously very well in the UK and, and uh, 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 in France, uh, Katie and I both uh, did uh, uh, a press, uh, a little press thing when we were in Paris uh, for season one, and uh, and they were very, uh, very enthusiastic about it. Um, and that I love that, you know, I love uh, the sort of uh, Americana uh, aspect of this show that you know that uh, is very appealing to uh, to a lot of other countries. So. Um, uh, but I, I don't have uh, any influence, and uh, and I didn't know that about the Shield. I didn't know that the Shield did not uh, translate to uh, to Germany very well. Um, uh, I guess Vic was a little too reminiscent of the Nazis. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm sure I'll get in trouble for that. Uh, so uh, uh, that's uh, that's um, that's uh, my answer to that question. So I'll do one more question. And uh, yes, I'm drinking Diet Coke. Yeah. I was off the Diet Coke tit for like two years, and, uh, and I'm back on, man. Um, okay, that's some spam. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Hey, Kurt, I was just, uh, this question uh, is uh, from John Harrop. Harup, Harup. Hey, Kurt, I was just uh, wondering, because SOA is a national and international club, if you would ever consider having a charter from Boston. I think that it would make sense considering all of the Irish connections or even have a charter visit charming with a gunship. It could be cool. Also, this may sound funny, but have you ever considered doing a crossover episode with Justified? Maybe Raylan goes to Charming or something to help the U.S. Marshals? Keep up the excellent work. Thanks, John Harrop from Massachusetts. Um, uh, I don't think we have uh, established uh, charters so much on the East Coast. Um, uh, I always had a sense that the East Coast really kind of belonged to uh, a couple of the other big clubs, so we kind of kept away from those major cities. Um, as far as the crossover episodes, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, to do something with Justified obviously would be fun and it wouldn't be outside the realm of reality. Um, 
Um, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know much about how all that stuff comes together. My sense is that it's much more complicated than, than one would think, just because of deals and, and licensing issues. And uh, um, I just think it's, um, uh, I don't think it's as easy as, you know, me and Graham getting together and saying, hey, let's do an episode. Uh, I think there are a lot of other factors uh, at play in terms of, uh, um, you know, the, uh, the ownerships of those particular shows. Um, so uh, I've really not given it much thought, um, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, it's a motherfucker just putting together the 13 that I have to do uh, to, tell, uh, to tell the stories that uh, are in front of me. So uh, uh, the thought of sometimes being uh, um, beyond uh, the boundaries of the show uh, uh, at, at this stage of the game, um, uh, you know, as I'm coming into writing the finale, anything that remotely smells of more work is, uh, uh, is just not very palatable. So, uh, um, but, uh, you know, I'm always, uh, I never, uh, never say never. Um, uh, and that's the deal, man. We're, uh, we're on a little production hiatus here. My actors have a week off and, uh, my crew has a week off and, uh, uh, not my writers, however, uh, and uh, and obviously not my support staff, <laughs> um, but uh, or, or my editors. So, uh, you know, I'm in here starting to look at episode 10 uh, in post, uh, uh, starting to write uh, the finale, uh, uh, and um, and we'll be back shooting episode 12 uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, and uh, and then I will uh, I'll direct the finale after that. So. Uh, Coming into the home stretch here, and uh, and again I uh, applaud people for their, uh, you know, for the enth their enthusiastic uh, response to the show this season. People keep showing up. We're up, uh, we're up like 28 percent, I think, overall from last season in terms of viewership, and that's live viewership. That's not even counting the the bump in uh, in uh, DVRs. So. Uh, um, everyone, uh, and myself included, is uh, uh, is very happy, and uh, 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 and uh, you know it's the work of uh, of everybody involved from FX and Fox 21 and Stephanie Gibbons who does our marketing just um, you know kicked the shit out of it this year and uh, uh, did a great job and, and really brought a lot of eyes uh, to the TV and uh, uh, I just you know I want to thank them all for that and. Uh, um, and that's the deal, man. We'll uh, hopefully uh, I'll uh, continue to pump myself with uh, with caffeine and poison, and uh, uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll finish strong. So uh, I'll keep checking in. Thanks.